It's been a mostly pleasant spring-like day across the city of Troy and the campus of Troy University, but is that set to change very soon? I'll have the answer to that in your four-day forecast coming up right after this. I want you to take a look at this. I'm pretty sure most of you music fans are familiar with the chart-topping sensation, Hot and Cold. I think it was written about Nebraska. Take a look at this. 10 degrees in Rapid City, right over here, 60 in Pierre. And get this, the high in Rapid City yesterday, 77 degrees. And even more bizarre, they're under a blizzard warning here in these counties in Orange, but this county was also under a tornado warning earlier at the same time. Very active, very intense. Load. So Jessica and Mackenzie, it looks like one more nice day, but then an active week after that. Hopefully none of that crazy weather comes our way, though. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, thank you, Sean. Thank you. Yeah. Conditions across the state look like this. No precipitation being reported across the major cities of Alabama. But we do see some scattered cloud cover with temperatures in the 60s and the 70s. Across the southeast right now, you can see that we have a cold front up toward the north. Again, you can see this first system will stall out for Thursday. You can see a, pretty much a soaking Thursday. That's probably the second best day that we'll see for the percent, potential for precipitation. Here's that other system that I mentioned, and you can see the two sort of squeeze together here in the Midwest. That will cause more blizzard-like conditions for places such as Nebraska, even as far south as the panhandle of Texas. And you can see we'll see more rain and thunderstorms begin to move into our area for Friday, and that will continue for Saturday. The best chance for the formation of thunderstorms that could produce tornadoes looks like it will be Friday night into Saturday, so be sure to plan your week. We have that severe storm situation. But really, you don't even really need to see this surface map to see where the divergence in temperatures is. In the aforementioned Amarillo, Texas, the temperature has dropped nearly 50 degrees just in the last 24 hours. So the very potent mix of cold temperatures on one side, warm on the other, and that's just an ingredient and a recipe for severe weather.